baseia-se no livro de Fritz of Capra e seu enredo se dá no diálogo entre uma cientista, um poeta e um político em um castelo medieval na França. Eles tentam compreender os mecanismos que governam o mundo. Serão relacionados a alguns dos conceitos aprendidos na disciplina de análise e modelagem de sistemas ambientais como o filme. Estes são os personagens. Como você reconhece eles? Jack Edwards? E você? Sonia Hoffman. Eu acho que eu ouvi seu nome em algum lugar. Sim, talvez em alguns hundred de news broadcasts. Ele era o candidato para a presidência dos Estados Unidos nas I do know who you are. Me? You know who I am? I doubt it. I... You're Thomas Harriman, the poet. I'm an ex-physicist, an ex-American resident, an ex-voter. A próxima cena se passa na torre do relógio onde o diálogo começa. Well, if I was to explain that, I'd have to go all the way back to the cards. Well, Descartes was the primary architect of the view that sees the world as a clock. A mechanistic view that still dominates most of the world today, and it seems to me, especially you politicians. A visão mecanicista tem uma abordagem reducionista. Mechanistic, as if nature functions like a clock. You take it apart, reduce it to a number of small, simple pieces, easy to understand, analyze them, put them all back together again, and then you understand the whole. Sonia dá um exemplo da abordagem reducionista com relação à natureza, na qual as pessoas não conseguem ter uma visão ampliada, analisam partes fragmentadas para depois juntá-las e entender o todo. Do you know that in our world, every day 40,000 children die? from malnutrition and preventable diseases. That's every other second. It's now, and now, and now. But the short lives of these children cannot be seen in isolation. They're part of a whole system involving the economics, involving the environment, and more specifically, involving high levels of third world debt. Ela reforça a ideia do todo e de como vários elementos do sistema podem afetar a mortalidade infantil, ou seja, nos mostrando a hierarquia presente. Pois o ser humano, criança, é um sistema vivo que faz parte de uma sociedade a qual pertence também a um sistema maior. Yes, the problems are complex, but you're just looking at the dark side because so is our capacity to respond, isn't it? Communications, data banks, technology, we already have the tools to deal with a lot of these problems. Even... May God us keep from single vision and Newton's sleep, William Blake. I'm very impressed. No, you two have a lot in common. You have a lot to talk about. He was writing in poetry 200 years ago, what you're saying today in prose. He hated Newton. He hated this concept of single vision. He dedicated his entire life to making art that denied single vision. Thomas fala sobre a visão única de Isaac Newton, que aborda o contrário da sinergia. Na sinergia deve-se ter uma visão onde o todo é maior que a soma das partes. The essential nature of matter lies not in objects, but in interconnections. Ah! Everybody knows the chord, it's the third, the most basic of harmonies. Carries with it a very distinctive feeling, no? And yet, its individual notes carry none of that feeling. Therefore, the essence of the chord lies in its... Lies in relationships. And the relationship between time and pitch... Makes melody. Makes melody. Relationships make music. Relationships make matter. A concepção de sistemas é dinâmica e interativa. Onde as relações entre os elementos são fundamentais, podendo ser estruturais, uma parte acoplada à outra, ou funcionais, onde desempenham trocas entre as partes. A systems thinker would look at a tree and see the life of the tree only in relation to the life of the whole forest. Would see the tree as a habitat for birds, a home for insects. But if you look at a tree and and try to understand it as something separate, you will be bewildered by the 
millions of fruits it's producing in its lifetime. Because only one or two trees will grow from those fruits. So if you look at the tree and see it as a member of a larger living system, that abundance of fruits will make sense. Because hundreds upon hundreds of forest animals and birds will survive because of them. Aqui a cientista mostra um limite dos sistemas quando percebemos de uma maneira e em contraponto como os sistemas também desempenham drogas com o meio ambiente. Interdependence. And the tree cannot survive on its own either. To draw water from the ground, it needs the fungus that grows at the tip of each root. And the fungus needs the root to survive, and the root needs the fungus. If one dies, the other dies. And there are millions of relationships like this in our world, each depending on each other for life. What is life? Life is self-organized. Well, that's just extraordinary. Segundo o poeta, a vida é auto-organizadora. Isso se dá pela propriedade dos sistemas se manterem em equilíbrio dinâmico, ou seja, a autorregulação. Yes, it is science, but of a new kind. Instead of concentrating on basic building blocks, the system's view concentrates on principles of organization. Instead of cutting things to pieces, it looks at the living system as a whole. 